Can you explain what's actually happening in the mouth when estrogen starts to decline? Such a great question. I love this question. So did you know that our salivary glands have estrogen receptors? So our parotid and our submandibular glands have estrogen receptors alpha and beta, the two types of estrogen receptors. So there is a lot of estrogen receptors. Our oral mucosa also has estrogen receptors. Oh my God. Our jawbone, our alveolar bone, <laughs> voila, exactly, yeah. uh, has estrogen receptors. So our periodontal ligaments have peri uh, estrogen receptors. So the increases during certain times like pregnancy and fertility treatments etc impact our mouth and during perimenopause and menopause that decrease causes a lot of the way i would say it you have a light in a room when you have good estrogen you're beautifully lit up mm -hmm. and then when the estrogen drops it starts to dim and things start becoming a little more difficult from speaking chewing because the, there's a decrease in salivary flow and not only a decrease in salivary flow that happens with estrogen decline, it's also salivary quality, which ties into microbiome.